Hello, this is Mandeep Singh, founder of Mandeeps.com. In this video, we'll learn how to install and use Lite Tooltip module. So let's begin by logging in as a host or super user. Once we're logged in, we'll go to the host module definitions. Say install a new module. We'll browse for our installation files. You can download Live Tooltip module from our site. After downloading module, unzip or extract the file, and we'll have two folders. From the install files, choose the appropriate install file for your DNN version. We're using DNN5 in this demonstration, so I'll go ahead and install DNN5. Just continue through clicking next. Make sure you read the licensing agreement. Accept the license. Click next. Alright, Live Tooltip is now installed. Make sure there is an installation successful message at the bottom. Just to ensure everything was okay. Let's go ahead and click return to go back to our portal. Alright, now that was it. Uh, that's how easy it is to install Live Tooltip module, just like any other standard DNN module. So let's go ahead and set up Live Tooltip. We have a page here called Live Tooltip Demo, in which I have some dummy text. Let's go ahead and add an instance of Live Tooltip module to the page. Now, when you first add Live Tooltip module to the page, you will be asked to select the edition you would like to use. If you're not sure which edition to use, go ahead and click on Help Me Choose link and you can compare the editions for purpose of this demonstra demonstration. I'll just choose Standard. And then if you've already purchased a module at that time or if you'd like to purchase it, you can go to Activate. Or if you're just evaluating the module, you can continue with the trial. Okay, so we have the Live Tooltip module installed and placed on the page. Let's go ahead and set up our first tooltip. Let's go to Manage Tooltips. And we will say, um, let's just say, uh, first tooltip. The name of our tooltip is first tooltip. I'm going to go ahead and add that. And there we have our first tooltip already on the system. So let's go ahead and give some content to this tooltip. We'll say, um, we just uh, added our first tooltip to DNN portal using the live tooltip module. Alright, let's go ahead and update that. And let's go back to the page. So we have our first tooltip called first tooltip. And now let's go ahead and attach that tooltip to one of the text here. So uh, let's take this as our target. Go ahead and edit the content there. And uh, why I can't locate it right here. Uh, so if you want to attach the tooltip here, you simply select this part and uh, just click on the link manager. You just give it a link like this live tooltip and the name of your tooltip. So first tooltip. Let's go ahead and click OK. Let's go ahead and hit save. There we go. We just added our first tooltip to DNN portal using the live tooltip module. So that was very easy and simple to do. Alright, let's go ahead back to manage tooltips. In our first tooltip that we added, I'm going to go ahead and give it a title as well called first tooltip. And in the behavior tab, I'm going to say also show a close button and do not auto close. So do not close on mouse out, just close using the close button. So let's see what that does. Right now we have a title, and notice the tooltip does not automatically close now until I actually click on the close button. Let's look at the uh, the options for positioning where where we can position our tooltip. So if we go back to our settings we have positioning here and it's, it's it's fairly easy to understand it says 
position my tooltips top left to the bottom right of the target. Let's let's understand that really quickly. So the top left of our tooltip is positioned towards the bottom right of the target link. So using that, let's go ahead and change this. I can very easily say position my bottom center of the tooltip to the top center of the target and let's see what that does. And here we go. The bottom center of my tooltip is positioned at the top center of the target. So there's a bunch of different positioning options we can use to go ahead and get the desired look and feel and effect and we can also move them uh, in X and Y coordinate plane as we desire if we need to. Alright, <clears throat> let's go ahead and look at some of the uh, other options. We have effects such as fade in and fade out and uh, we can just and easily add uh, bubble tip to our uh, speech bubble tip to our tooltip. So if I just say show tip and hit update, uh, let's go back see the changes. First thing you'll notice that it fades in now and you see there's this bubble tip that appears a little arrow pointing to the tooltip. So let's go back and do a couple things. First we'll go back to on mouse our default behavior change the close button. Uh, we'll change the effect to slide up and down and uh, let's change the positioning to saying move my left set position my left center to the right center of the target right and we will now notice that the tooltip slides in and it slides out so it's a fairly nice feature okay uh, let's see what else we have is just as easy to style your tooltips out of the box live tooltip comes with six styles so we can call it blue let's just go back to um, some of the default styles here just change them and let's take a look at the blue style there we go now the tooltip is blue. Um, let's move this to right bottom and left top. And let's change this to a dark theme. And uh, there's over six different styles that come with live tooltip, and you can always create your own styles. They're very easy to do with CSS cascading style sheets. All right, let's look at uh, one of the the most advanced or uh, the most interesting feature of live tooltip. Now, let's say we have this live tooltip uh, on the page, but but this is one of the tooltips, you know, those most popular keyword or text that you want to show on every page or almost any every other page of the portal. Uh, you don't want to set this up again and again. You don't want to have the live tooltip module on all the pages. It's really easy to do. Just go back to manage tooltip and advanced option just say portal tooltip. You'll notice this option is disabled at the moment. It cannot be used and that's because this particular feature of live tooltip requires some changes to web.config. Now that is automatically managed by the modules and can be easily enabled by a host or super user only by just clicking here. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then we'll go ahead and enable portal tooltip. Cancel out. Now everything here would just work as it was working before, no changes. But what we can do now is we can go here and through edit content, go ahead and assign our tooltip any page using the same syntax. Alright, let's click on save. There's our tooltip. 
Notice we do not have live tooltip module on this page and neither we set up the tooltip again. So that's a pretty handy feature of live tooltip. You're not limited to text HTML module. You can show that tooltip anywhere on the page, even in custom modules, third party modules, headers, footers, anything and everything, including your skin objects. Alright, that's all we have for the live tooltip getting started video. Make sure to check out the advanced video for the other advanced features. If you have any questions or concerns, please do let us know. Thank you for watching the video.